It's uh, January the 27th, 2018. We're at the Site C Summit in Victoria, British Columbia. I'm talking to uh, Emma Gilchrist of Desmog. Uh, what is Desmog? Is it a blog, a website? It's an online news outlet. Desmog, an online news outlet. And we're going to talk about the role of the media in the whole Site C thing. I think the role of the media is fundamentally important and they play the role of making sure people, I'm talking about the corporate media, don't really know what's going on so it's easier for these terrible things to happen to us. Yeah, I, I think a mistake is often made by people in thinking that the corporate media are kind of like intentionally pulling the wool over people's eyes. In my experience, having worked in the corporate media, it's more a matter of a lack of resources and a, a, a lack of uh, drive for like true news values. So for us at DSMON Canada, we're always looking for stories that have real impact. We're wanting to tell stories in a way that help people understand the world. Um, whereas for corporate media, they're, they by their very you know business model need to tell stories in a way that basically makes people click on them. So they need to be more sensational. Uh, whereas we try to focus on being foundational. So we try to get at the root of what's happening, um, you know, which means not reporting on every pipeline protest or every dam protest, but zooming out and saying, you know, what's going on here, what's happening with our environmental assessment process, what's happening with the way that we protect endangered species, um, which are truly the underlying, you know, reasons that we come to such uh, loggerheads on some of these big contentious issues. When you say we come to loggerheads, you mean the people of the province? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the grand we. <laughs> just, just talking about Site C, there is, uh, what I noticed was that Mr. Horgan made his, uh, uh, made his speech on a Monday saying Site C is going ahead. I was in Vancouver that week and I noticed that by Thursday it was basically gone. The media pushed it aside. First they all supported it. I think all the media, all the big media in the province supported, the corporate media supported uh, Mr. Horgan's decision and then the story was gone. Issues like going after any of the MLAs who for years had told all of us about their undying support for stopping Site C, that was never done. Do you just want to comment on that? Because do the public get a true story when the media chooses mm -hmm. to push a story that is so important to our future aside? Yeah, I mean, the, the corporate media, by and large, don't really do a great job of public interest journalism these days, of, you know, following up on a story. We see it time and time again on different issues, like huge disasters, like the Mount Polly mine spill, and no charges, no fines, and, you know, the, like, no, it's just like, it's in the media for a week, and then it's over. And on the Site C Dam decision, yeah, I agree, you know, it was like this kind of spot coverage of this decision is made, and then... Everybody kind of just lets it go. Um, there wasn't a lot of chasing of you know previous positions. There's less of that kind of watchdog journalism of holding politicians to account, holding them to their word. Um, thankfully, with the advent of the internet, um, the world is really changing right now in terms of the reach of new media. Um, how do we build? the independent media that I think our province and our country so desperately need that is not corporate controlled and is free to tell a different sort of truth. How, how does that get built? I mean the real key is reader funding. So it's basically people accepting that they need to pay for that type of coverage. Um, it's as simple as paying you know, $10 a month by becoming the me a member or a monthly donor to an independent media outlet. And that's increasingly the way that we're moving. We have almost 200 uh, members now who are, you know, donating about $2,000 a month altogether. And, you know, we have goals to grow that astronomically. So you can see how, you know, in maybe five years from now, we'll have 5,000 members. And that enables you to run. We're already running, you know, the single, like, largest environmental reporting outfit in Canada with like three people, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, so there's so much room for that to grow and I think it's kind of one of the hopeful things in our world right now that we, we really can build the media of our choosing. That is part of the democratizing force of the internet um, and people just need to get behind it. Absolutely right, people need to get behind it and if, if, if we want to save our future, we better uh, start building the media that 
democracy and our future need.